Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm in my stairwell. Well, well. It's echoey. Okay, so today is very exciting. I am going to be giving my office a makeover and I'm so excited because you're gonna be doing that with me. I've been wanting to do this since the beginning of the year and I ordered some new pieces for the office and naturally they didn't come <laughs> until now. Like everything just came in so I'm finally tackling it. I ordered two chairs from my office from Crate and Barrel in July and they just came. If I knew it was gonna take that long, I would have never ordered those chairs. I'm like, I don't understand foreign furniture stores. They really sell you things that they do not have. I, can you imagine if I launched an eyeshadow palette and was like, well, it's not made yet, but I'm gonna make it eventually. But you can buy it now and I'm not gonna tell you that it's not made. Can you imagine the chaos? Furniture stores get away with everything. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the office. I'm gonna show you. It is a disaster and it's that way because I haven't been able to redo it until I got all the pieces. So here we go. Let me show you the office. Office tour starts now. Whoopsh. Just kidding, it's still me. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So here's my office doors. I'm gonna show them the office. Oh baby. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a cat. I just closed the door. She's so nosy. She had to come in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Erin, what is going on here? Did you crush my flowers? I have no clue. You do have a clue. Maybe I did. Okay, this is the office. It looks like a train wreck happened in here. We're gonna fix that. The only thing I have done in the office is the wallpaper. I have like a faux burlapy wallpaper. It's not real burlap. I got it at Lulu in Georgia and I had someone come and do the wallpaper. Me and Ty tried to do a strip up here and we were not successful. And I said, okay, I paid all this money for this wallpaper. We're gonna destroy this room and the wallpaper trying to put it up. I want it to look nice. So I hired a company to do it and they did a phenomenal job. So that's all that I have done. I have this really pretty wallpaper and I basically have been storing all my decor in here. So now that you've seen the mess, I think it's time that we empty out the office. I think that's the best thing to do, to empty it out, clean the floors of the office because they're quite dusty. It doesn't look that dusty on camera, but do you like, okay, now do you believe me? They're gross, like dust, oh my God. <laughs> it's so gross, guys, look over here. Do you see what I mean? When I say we have to clean Aaron's slippers, we're gonna empty it out, we're gonna vacuum, we're gonna clean it really well, and then we're gonna start putting things back in. Oh my God, I don't even know where I'm gonna put all this stuff though. You guys wanna see a wall of PR? Where does all the PR go? Right there. And here are the fancy new chairs from Crate and Barrel. We're getting started. Erin's gonna help me. She has class in like a few minutes, so she's gonna pause helping me, but she's gonna help me for now. Yo. Yo. All right, Erin, just grab something and get the heck out of here. Should I grab stuff on the shelf? Yeah, like everything's going out. All right. Including plants. Uh, hey, what? careful. That's breakable.
Wow. We have emptied out this room pretty quickly. It's really echoey. Aaron's gonna vacuum. As you can see, the floor is disgusting. It's disgusting. Step all over. So, gonna get some vacuum action and then the makeover process will begin. Ooh, that's dead. Charger, where is it? Tyler is removing the metal trays. I actually didn't mean for these to go back up with the wall people, 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 people. <laughs> they just put them back up, which is fine. But I'm gonna put artwork up there. So Ty is removing those and I am gonna Swiffer. And we have a supervisor in the room. Doing girl. better with all the junk out of it. Are we doing a chandelier? I think so. That means I have to hang. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? She said, get off me, dude. Hey guys, it is time to bring in the rug. We have cleaned up the room really well. We've even wiped down the baseboards, every shelf, and the floor. So here comes the rug. Get it on top of it for right, now. Down. We can pick it up later. Ready? Down. 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 Down.
Okay guys, it's time for the infamous white chairs to come in. These are the chairs that I waited for an eternity to come in. Infamous as she calls them. Ooh, look at what we have to clean. It's always more of a job to clean after you do the makeover than it is the actual room makeover. So here we go. I have to help Ty. No, 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 let me help. Move that chair. Wow, this is professional. Whoa, that just changed this room. <sighs> oh. What do you think? I think I'm in pain. This is nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna be sitting here. I guess you kind of corner the computer instead of have it blocking off. Whatever. Rolling? Yeah. Hey guys, we're done. <laughs> we're, we're retitling this video to Erin's office makeover because she's the one in here the most right now. Well, I yeah, guess she does the online school in here. The chairs like make the room so much more cozy. They need to be spread out. They're too tight. How do you feel? You're gonna break the computer. It's not on. Oh. Yeah, I think so, don't you? Like, they're a little tight. Yeah, see that? See that? I think so. I might change my mind. But yeah, they were a little crowded feeling. Ooh. Wowzers, coming together. Okay, we have a lot more to go, guys. So the hardware in here is gold. I might use these somewhere else, but for now, so they match the other black metals we're gonna be incorporating in the room. We are gonna change the hardware to black. Now they have these at CB2 for an arm and a leg, but they have these on Amazon for so, so cheap. So we are gonna be changing out the hardware now. We is in T. It's gonna doing? look so much better. It's also gonna match. Excuse me, what are you doing? Poppy, what are you doing? Poppy seed tomato. Hi, we know you put the what did you do? She's my obsession. Oh, she's so sleepy. I rich me. I got that in Anthropology on sale on Black Friday for such a great deal. So We're hanging that on the wall, right? Because Well, we have to it? for earthquakes, okay. but I do want the leaned look, but it does need to be secure. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It's a iron vintage mirror and oh my god, I look so pretty. So it turns out this is a sprinkler head. And I thought it was a place to hang a chandelier. I want you to know I'm devastated. How am I not gonna have a chandelier? <laughs> Why would they not put a shandy in here? I don't know, man. So lame. Yep. I literally bought one and had the this one <laughs> that we were designing oh. in the spare bedroom, and we decided on this one for the office. Sorry, buddy. Well, my dreams are crushed. Sorry. All right, so we added a fake olive tree and Laura's putting the moss down. This is how to make your fake plants look real, guys. Just add real moss that's been dyed. 
And it'll look real. It's gonna look great. <laughs> <laughs> I would like two large black pictures, but that's not an option. All right, what do we think? Um, right here, right here, and then that one above it. Then we need something else, right? Like two more? Like I have more frames. Hey you guys, we have artwork hung, and I don't know if you remember, we had the little file cabinet right here. We decided to actually move it across the room since we have this empty space over here, and it literally, Kind of fills it up a little bit. It was a bit crammed over here and we also couldn't open this cabinet here, or like pull this drawer out because it was in the way. So not functional. And so now I think it looks super clean. However, it's a little plain. So I have this big tray basket and I'm gonna set it on top because I think that looks really pretty. And then over here, all I've done so far is just add it to vases. I think they look very pretty and I've added some dried greenery to it, some dried plants to it. I just think every room needs a little touch of greenery or dried plant to it to make it look a little more friendly and homey. Also, we do have the faux olive tree whenever you walk in over here and of course I have my moss to make it look I have this big vase I think I'm gonna put here by the fireplace so I love pottery and I think it makes a home just look a little more homey and especially rustic pottery now up here I found this book at home goods super cheap the cover of it was ugly so I took it off and it's just a plain book but it's really plain up here so I have this little wickery vase if you will and I put it up here and I really like it but it's just too small <laughs> it's like boop so I'm gonna have to find a new home for that but what I was thinking is I have this beautiful bowl from restoration it's really heavy I'm gonna drop it oh my god one-handed oh can she vlog and decorate I don't know <sighs> see I think that just looks better Hmm. needs to be a little bit closer. There we go. A little tighter into the vintage mirror. Okay, I'm gonna keep the desk kind of simple. I just have two coffee table books and I added this. This is actually real dried greenery in an incense. So this is from Urban Outfitters and it's supposed to hold your incense, but uh, I don't light incense inside. So I figured it's better use there. I'm leaving the desk kind of plain because we actually use it for work. And if I put a bunch of useless decor items up here, it's not really practical for us. Okay guys, are you ready for the official, the official office tour? <gasps> here we go. <laughs> I have to open it with both hands because there's only one of me. I'm like, open, open. The nice thing about this door is it actually swings all the way back. So it's not in the way as you try to enter the room. Please don't look at this. <laughs> okay, that was the most non-elegant room entrance ever, but here we go. So let's talk about it and my idea of this room. It was really important for me to have this room be very mature because all three of us use it. It's not just for me. If it was just for me, I would add a little more feminine touches to it. So in the corner, I demand greenery in every room. Luckily in this room, my ficus is outside peek through the window. So naturally it does get greenery as well as my back porch. So it kind of already gets a pop. So I just added this faux olive tree. It looks pretty real. And of course we staged it with real moss that has been dyed. The pot is from West Elm, I believe, or CB2. I'm not sure, I'll link it down below, but it is a retro ridged pot. So I think it gives it a touch of texture in the room. As far as the floors in my home, they're super dark. And whenever you put a dark wood desk onto a dark floor, it kind of all mushes together. So I went for a natural jute rug with light shaded fibers. I think it looks really beautiful. And with that to brighten the room, we 
we went with the Italian Bolce chairs from Crate and Barrel that took forever to come in, but they're here and I'm happy and they are quite beautiful, which I think they make the room very inviting a place for you to sit and have conversations. Now, as far as the desk, it is from Restoration. I went with a deeper wood desk because I have a lot of lighter boho woods in my home and I wanted this room to be a little less boho and a little more mature office feeling. So that's why I went with the darker wood desk and paired it with the lighter rug to contrast. I went with minimum decor on the desk because like I said, this is a useful workspace and so it's important for me to not over clutter the desk with items that aren't necessary. This place can be used for work. Now, as far as the chair, I got this at West Elm. I love the matte metal on it, as well as the rope detailing on the handles. It is a rolly chair. And I just threw a casual blanket, I believe this is from Target, over it to give it a more inviting, cozy feel. The artwork has some natural aspects to it. It is from Lulu in Georgia, and I think it's so cute. But like I said, I had some black and white artwork, but it was pretty girly and it's just not the vibe for the room. So I went with these two that I had upstairs and I love the way they look. They match and they fill up the wall a little bit better than my original idea. And then of course we just have the computer here. Now you'll notice the desk does not have any drawers to it and that is quite all right because we have a tons of cabinet space here which is super awesome. I'll give you a sneak peek in this. This is all of our new projects for Lurley Los Angeles. They're pretty organized in here actually. Um, I have each four different projects going right now that you guys don't know about and I have them all labeled and organized. I have some different projects in these drawers in between too and they're all labeled and it's very important that I keep all this organized. Over here is where we keep our printer and we keep our shredder as well as some important paperwork right here. And then up top is items I can't really show and some storage that we're not really using much. I really love this cabinet. It's genius. They put plugs inside of them. That way you can actually use your shredder and tuck away electronics that aren't that pleasing to look at. Keeps it really chic and clean in here. And then in these two drawers, I do need to organize it a little bit better, but it's just office supplies, pens, tapes, stamps, stickers, note cards, pencils, calculators, headphones, you name it, they're in these two drawers. I'll give you a peek. Oh my God, let's close it back up. They are a mess. And then down here, I actually have post office boxes and that is because I ship you guys a lot of giveaway items and we have to ship a lot back and forth for Laura Los Angeles and our labs. So we have the boxes that are priority, um, the uh, flat rate boxes. I just keep in here and down here. I mean, these are not this cabinet is actually not that messy. It's just where I store shipping supplies that I actually have to use all the time. So we try to keep that stocked. And over here, I can't show you the top shelf because I have newer products, but over here is needs to be a little more organized, which I will work on that. But this is just products that are from Los Angeles um, that are already launched and we shoot the pictures and products. Um, so we try to keep the new products here and stuff that we've already come out with, such as our brushes, Nudie 2, there's glazed and bronze. There's the sleigh bell kit. I don't know if you guys remember that, Christmas 2018. So that's a little tour of the cabinetry. It's basically all for Larley Los Angeles. I just ran into the chair. Now this little file cabinet is from CB2. I kind of wish it didn't have the marble top because it doesn't go that well in here, but pretty much covered all the marble top with this basket tray. I think I got this at McGee & Co. And in these file drawers, it's really nice. We're able to keep like all of our car, insurance, phone bill, like bill stuff really nicely organized. And I can't tell you how many times something's come up and we needed paperwork and it's just right there. So we do keep all of that in there for our personal life to make sure we keep it separated from our business. The fireplace is really nice in here. We actually use it all the time. It's actually a dual fireplace, meaning it goes through to my other living room. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see the huge mess out there, but both rooms get to enjoy the fireplace when it's on. So I think it was a genius design in homes. They should do this more often. Whatever wall they put the fireplace on, let it peek through. So now my office has a fireplace as well as my other living room. So it's like you get the extra fireplace. I think that was genius in the design of this home. There he is. You really can't see, ooh, 
yeah, you can turn it on from both sides. Hello, we should have had that on for the grand tour. It just looks so cozy with the fire on. And this room actually does get a bit chilly because of all the windows and the doors. So we actually use the fireplace in here all the time, don't we? We do, yeah. Um, it heats it up really nice. Yeah, it heats it up really nice in here. Babe, you killed it. This room looks great. This is a whole different room. Mm -hmm. I like how mature it looks. It looks like a real office space. It does. Mmm, gonna have a seat. Test her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a clear desk for once, isn't it? It is really nice. It feels like you could like take your phone calls in here and like I could sit here. Let's have some notepads and paper out. We have a ton of Zoom meetings. And then also I have another little wooden chair that I often sit right here and that we can do our Zoom calls together. Aaron's gonna take it over though. Aaron does a lot of schoolwork in here. And then up top, I love the vintage mirror from Anthropology. I think it gives it a nice touch, not too modern, not too aged. It's just perfect along with some different items of decor. Oh, there's me. Hi. I love vintage looking pottery, guys. I just am obsessed. It's not so much of a boho look. It's more of a, like a modern traditional, but chic vintage look that's a lot of words <laughs> and i have to have some dried some dried um what do you call it dried plant dried why is my brain frozen that tree thing <laughs> a tree thing tree thing tree thing uh limb bush limb, limb. Bush limb. Hmm. Yeah, this room, oh, by the way, look how much natural lighting this room gets. It's insane. I do think this room would look bomb with a chandelier. Oh, I just love the way it looks. It, it looks, looks so freaking good. I love it. I love it. We're going to have so many meetings in these chairs. You guys don't even know. By the way, the rug is from Lulu in Georgia, if I didn't tell you. And it's jute, so it's going to shed everywhere. Really? For me, the jute doesn't shed off the rug. It more so sheds underneath the rug. Can you guys see that? Which to me isn't a problem because it's like hidden shedding. But yeah, it typically doesn't shed like like off the rug. Take a seat. Do I look professional? You do. Let's get a let's get a uh -huh. POV from us in a meeting here. Okay. Just sitting in my chair. You know what? I have been avoiding this room so hard and like not doing any work in here and not being in here at all. And Same. now you're right. And now I'm like, oh my God, I love this room so much. Like I want to be in here all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what room is next? What? If you say the beauty room, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. We have to do the beauty room next. That room is a nightmare. It is a freaking nightmare not ready for that me either you want to take down that entire ikea system not the entire thing some of it that's so much it's it's too much now, this is my favorite part of this room the desk the desk mm -hmm. it's the best it's a good desk and it's really expensive <laughs> well i'm glad we like it yeah it's beautiful and i feel like pieces like this you don't really have to change out. You can change out a couple pieces around the desk and the decor, but like a staple wooden desk like this, you could have for 50 years and it still could be in style. You know what I mean? So I mm -hmm. think it's really smart to invest in pieces that are a little more simple and classic. That way you can have them forever and you won't have to keep buying them to stay on top of trends throughout the years. Wow. She's a lifer. I feel like I accomplished a lot today. We Woo! accomplished a lot. Good job. Two, work. Another room down. That's to show you his very important business pin. So, he just. <laughs> Ty, he's like in the important most contrast. important. Yeah, our most important. And I'll like, pull it out of my pocket. All right, let me go ahead and sign that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not mad at this bin. It's gonna stay out as decor. I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> you see that this room gave me gray hair 
This room did it. This is the room that sent me up. I'm just kidding. It'll be the beauty room. My whole head will be gray when we get done with that room. Guys, that is it for this video. Hallelujah, the office looks so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and subscribe to my channel and give it a good old fashioned thumbs up. Anyways, thanks for being here and watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Later. Later.